Hi, I'm Josh from eSpares, and in this video, I'll be helping you to diagnose filling and dispenser problems in your dishwasher. Um, let's start with a dishwasher that isn't filling with water. Uh, there can be a few reasons as to why that might occur. Um, it could be that the supply hose is twisted or blocked, so you can check that. Um, it may be that the fault lies in the dishwasher or it could be a problem with the water supply itself. Um, now a good way to check is to turn the supply off at the tap and then disconnect the inlet hose from the back of the dishwasher. Then grab a bucket and turn the supply back on and try and fill the bucket with water from the hose. Um, if the flow of water is quite fast or if it's what you would normally expect to be coming from your tap, then that would indicate that the supply is okay and the problem lies in the dishwasher. Um, once you've established that the supply is okay and that the problem is in the dishwasher, um, the next place to have a look is the solenoid valve at the back. And if I just turn this dishwasher around to give you a better look, um, you can see I've taken the panel off the side. Now to test the valve itself for whether it's working, um, you can use a multimeter. So just start by removing the connections from the valve. Like so. And then grab your meter and put that onto a medium to high um, resistance setting and place the probes of the meter onto the terminals of the valve. Now for a working valve you're looking for a reading of somewhere between 2000 and 5000 ohms. And on this one, I'm getting about 4,000. So that shows that it's okay. Um, obviously, if you get readings that are significantly outside um, those figures, then you should replace the valve. Now, once the water has come in through the solenoid valve, on some machines, it then goes through a flow meter. Um, on this particular dishwasher, it comes up through this hose here, uh, through this air brake or heat exchanger, and then down through this hose into the sump at the bottom of the dishwasher where it's monitored by a pressure switch. Now to show you the pressure switch, we need to have a look at the other side of the dishwasher. This is the pressure switch here, um, and it's connected to the sump through this thin pipe here. Now as water comes into the sump it forces air along this tube into the pressure switch and the pressure switch takes a reading of how much air is coming into it. Now from that it can determine how much water is in the sump. However if a blockage forms in this pipe um, the air isn't going to be forced through it properly and the switch isn't going to take a proper reading. Now as a result, the dishwasher is going to overfill and flood with water. And now if that's happening with your dishwasher, just have a look at this pipe here. If you suspect that there might be a blockage, you can actually just remove the pipe from the switch and blow into it to clear any blockages that might be in there. Now this dishwasher has an additional pressure switch here um, and this monitors the flow of water from the wash pump. Now if your dishwasher has two pressure switches and you're in doubt as to which one is monitoring the sump, you can just blow into both to be sure. Next, let's have a look at dispenser problems in your dishwasher. Now the dispenser has two functions, uh, to release detergent and to release rinse aid. Um, a couple of minutes into the cycle, um, the dispenser will open, making that very distinctive thumping noise and release the uh, detergent. And also during the final uh, rinse cycle, you may hear a very slight buzzing noise um, as the rinse aid is released into the dishwasher. Now, if you don't hear either of those sounds or if the detergent isn't being released from the dispenser, um, you can see how to replace the dispenser in another eSpares video. Now, if you need help diagnosing other faults with your dishwasher, check out our other diagnostic videos. And spares for dishwashers, along with other appliances, are available on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.